Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to the live streaming uh, interviews hot off the ITW 2024 exhibit floor. This is JSA TV and JSA Podcast, your newsroom for digital infrastructure. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO and founder of JSA, and I am so thrilled and excited to be joined by Christiana Weishun. She is the Senior Director of Communications and ESG from the fabulous Scala Data Centers. As you know, Scala is the leading Amer Latin American platform for sustainable data centers in the hyperscale market. Christiana, thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you, Jamie, for having me one more time here. It's a pleasure to be here with you uh, again. Well, and it's such an honor that you're taking such critical ITW time to sit here in our hot seat and talk about a topic near and dear to both of our hearts, sustainability in our industry. So, without uh, further ado, this is the second year that Scala is the ITW sustainability partner. Huge deal, congratulations again. What does, uh, tell us a little bit about how your company has leveraged the role to promote sustainability pro practices within the industry. Okay, perfect. So when you talk about sustainability, Scala Data Centers is actually a, a role model. I like to say, I always say uh, to my team, to everyone, that we really walk the talk, you know. So, and we have, uh, um, this week we will launch our sustainability report here at IT, ITW, you know. And it's a, a long report, more than 50 page report with concrete actions around, you know, sustainability, the sustainability pillars, the ESG, the environmental, social and governance. And it's a, a very, we are very proud of that. And so being a sustainability partner is all about awareness, you know, to bring awareness to the industry, to the importance of uh, implementing, you know, sustainable practices and showing that as we are uh, a good example of how it's possible to reconcile robust growth with sustainability practices. Incredible, incredible. The ESG report dropping right here at ITW. Exactly. Very exciting. 50 pages of important information we all must read and, and take inspiration from. Um, also, you were going to share perhaps some specific examples of the sustainability initiatives or projects that Scala has implemented or supported? Definitely. So since our inception, we have been using 100% renewable power oh, wow. to sort the renewable, renewable power to in our data centers, in all our data centers, you know, and not only we use the renewable power, but we do that in a very efficient way. Uh, our PUE, which is a power user effectiveness, it's a common measure in the industry, uh, common metric in the industry is 1.35, which is very low, especially in Latin America, considering the, the hot and humid uh, weather that we have there. So it's a very important uh, metric. And that brings us to scope zero, scope two emissions, wow. which is very, very amazing in this industry um, as we consume a lot of energy. Data centers con do consume a lot of energy. And our W... Uh, UE, which is the water usage effectiveness, is zero as our uh, data centers are air cooled, and that eliminates the need, you know, to replenish uh, the the water, and it's a closed loop, so we don't uh, use new water in the system. So it's very, very amazing. And we also regarding the scope three, which is not under our control; it's in the control of our suppliers. Partners, yeah. Yes, yeah. our partners, right? We engage them, uh, so making them aware of the importance of uh, sustainability. You know, they they making them aware of the importance of having a decarbonization plan. And for as we have zero uh, scope two emissions, the scope one and scope three emissions they are unavoidable. We offset them with carbon credits with good uh, carbon credits for the community. Uh, and talking about the community, uh, we couldn't, uh, uh, I, I, I couldn't uh, um, mention, uh, not mention the impact that we have in the community. We have a very strong relationship with them. Uh, and we, you know, focus a lot on education, job creation, and um, the, the, the megawatt of opportunity program that we have for every megawatt, there are our clients book with us we fund a scholarship for a, for a young uh, person in our community. So it's very beautiful. I just love that. And, I, and I'm hearing that you're sparking this trend among global data centers too, 
of really investing in the community that you have a pop in, yeah. really digging digging in what what availability you can do to from a, an education perspective, monetary scholarships, etc. But really being part of the community you're in. Again, such a leader in the space. You did mention that sustainability report dropping. Got to ask: Are there any key highlights that we can tease up right now? Yes, 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 you can. So. Uh, we are um, mentioning that we are, as I mentioned, as I told you, right? We consume 100% renewable energy, and we want to, we will do, continue doing that, renewable and certified energy, right? And we will continue measuring uh, and uh, and uh, uh, working on our scope three emissions, working with our partners to do that. We are committed to innovation, mm -hmm. and something very interesting that we are mentioning in the report is the proof of concept that we implemented, we have just implemented with hydro-treated vegetable oil, which is a green diesel, HVO, it's a green diesel. And it, uh, with that, we can reach up to 85% of reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. It's amazing. We have just finished uh, this uh, proof of concept in our Caterpillar backup generators. And however, uh, this is not, you know, in a large scale, commercial scale in Latin America yet. And we are super attentive to that. And when it does, we will start, you know, the, the plan of uh, um, uh, replacing the diesel with this, this, this new green diesel. So this is something that we are, we are super anxious to start using, you know. <laughs> uh, so, so are we to start, to start watching you guys use it. This is incredible, guys. Again, proof of concept, green diesel, reducing, uh, by first measurements, right, 85% um, of their emissions. That yeah, is of scope one emissions. huge new scope one emissions. So yeah. incredible. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank Definitely you. Definitely a report, you guys. You got to check it out. Got to check it out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Christiana, on an incredible business-packed crazy meetings day. I know your your schedule is so packed. Thank you yeah, for taking some precious time to be here with us no. and for sharing this great news. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie, for having me again. Thank oh, you. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in live streaming here at ITW 2024. Happy networking.